All right, guys, there's been a bunch of people asking me about my ratchet drawer and how we get our ratchets to look so cool and sexy in there. So I'm going to show you guys what we do. Y'all come take a look. so man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times are hard. Mississippi. All right, guys. Um, as you seen on my last Half on Friday video, I had the quarter inch ratchet that we put a 3 8 head in it. So we got to put room in our box for this thing. So here is our lovely ratchet drawer. And my beautiful assistant, Ms. Shasha, will show you exactly what you guys need to do to make your drawer look this awesome. All right, guys, Shasha is going to explain to you what you got to have before you get started. It's not going to take much. Of course, I'm just adjusting or adding to a drawer that we already have. So I actually want to talk about what we have under it, what we have on top of it, what you can use, and then I'll talk about the tools that I'm going to use. So initially, the first box that we had, um, we just went to... I think it was O'Reilly's and they have uh, floor foam or the little squares that you can put down to walk on in front of your box. Kind of takes the impact out when you're walking on concrete a lot during the day. You can find different um, versions of that. You can find yoga mats. There's lots of stuff. I would just look for the cheap stuff. You're gonna cut it up anyway. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you'll look here, we have um, that yoga mat that I was talking about before and it's fairly thick. Um, you'll want to watch your heights because you don't want to bump or scratch up any of your handles or any of your tools. As you see, it <clears> just <throat> barely does clear there. Right. So then uh, we were at uh, Five Below with the kids a couple of weeks ago, and we knew we were getting this box. They have big rolls of this yoga mat. It's five bucks for that. And um, we were able to do two layers. This width is exactly one half of the roll. So we did two layers and that was one whole roll. And um, we just cut it and laid it out and made sure that our heights were right. So all we're gonna do today is add to what we have. So what I did was just laid them out with um, the head down. So we can see where we want it. You line them all up. And then uh, what you're gonna need is a ballpoint pen. And I tried the first time using um, a razor knife or what's called an X-Acto knife. And my, my technical term for it is it boogered up. Um, it really didn't look good. It didn't look clean when you took them out. And um, it kind of had edges, it looked kind of nasty. Um, some people that have done this, they do it from the back side, and then they put that facing down, but still your top layer is gonna have just that nasty tattered kind of boogered up edge. Um, so I use these uh, Vampire Tools uh, Kevlar scissors. It Kevlar says, shears. Kevlar shears. It says they are designed for Kevlar fabric. They do a really good job. It's a nice smooth cut. So I'm going to place it where he wants it. Clay has said this is where he wants it. We saved this particular spot just for this ratchet. Um, good thing about these little uh, lines is it helps you line them up so that they're all just about the same when you try to line them up. It's kind of like graph paper. Um, and I just hold it down good and tight and draw it out. Just make sure your pen um, will write on it because sometimes when you go around it, it doesn't do anything a few times because it's just rubber. So you just trace the whole thing out. <clears throat> may want to go over it a couple of times. I just, you know, I'm old. Clay says I'm old. I have bad eyes, so I make sure I go over it a few times so I don't miss anything. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you can see it or not. Very, very thin, very light, but I do have my outline. Oh. Okay, so I took out the neighbors. We don't want to cause any problems with the neighbors while we're trying to do this. So I took out the neighboring two ratchets and I just pinched it and snipped it here and it went all the way through. And then I pushed the tip through and I just cut it out. Like butter. 
These things do a great job with this stuff. It's really, really good. If you guys are interested in picking up a pair of those Kevlar scissors from Vampire Tools, be sure to go to www.vampiretools.com. You can find them on their website. Be sure to use the code COON15 at checkout and it'll save you 15% and get you free shipping. Or if you prefer to buy them off of Amazon, I'll have a link in the description of this video. Just click it and there you go. Now those aren't the super combo scissors, so you can't be cutting pennies with them. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get them confused, guys. You got the main body cut out. <clears throat> and I'll usually go back and just trim out any of it that looks kind of rough. Not even with my handle here. We're gonna put our neighbors back in here. Get everything fitted back the way it's supposed to be so we don't have any irregular fit. <clears throat> gonna try this out. Seems to fit pretty good. I see one spot. I'm gonna make this match a little better. And then since we measured it with this part up, we're gonna flip it over and make sure it fits right with the head and everything's nice and even and straight and we'll press it down in there. And it's going to make an indention. I don't know if y'all can see that part. Okay. It kinda went away now. Okay, uh, so then that's when I'll use this knife and I'll press down in there and just cut that nice little neat square out. And it helps if you have some needle nose pliers to dig that out with because you can twist it after you pinch it and it picks the whole thing out. Well, I just haven't had some. <laughs> just happened to have some. How about that? Okay, so we'll just put that down in there. Press it down in there and twist it. And that oh, comes wow. out. And I just wanna make sure I got all of it out. Okay. And that little fella's got a home now. Okay, there you go. There you go, guys. That's how you do it. All right, guys, there you go. Miss Shasha showed you our secret on how to make your drawers look beautiful, and that way you too can have a super awesome, sexy ratchet drawer that you will be proud of just like I am. Like always, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe down here below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Y'all have a great one.